over the last few weeks I've been watching a lot of videos on organization for tools like these screwdrivers pliers uh, spanners and then um, Adam Savage's video I came across with his toolkit that he has in a cart in a shop and his ideas about the uh, first order retrievability for the tools is the sort of idea I'm going for so I want to make a little tool insert organizer that goes inside this box where I put all these tools that are organized you can grab them out they're not just thrown into the box in a jumble I quickly wrote down the measurements of the inside of the box I then cut this piece of plywood just that it sits in on top of the rest that the tool tray usually sits on now I just need to decide what way I want the tools to fit in I'm going to have to play around with this a bit I, I'm not doing a great deal of planning for this I'm just going as I take it like and um, seeing what works what doesn't work so I'm sure I'll chop and change this a lot so first change already I have to come back I have to scrap that because if I drill the holes in these to put the screwdrivers in it's too near the top so the handles won't close so I think what I'll do I'll cut this in half and use this as the sides of the box or as the little inserts for the tools so now these are turned into two end pieces that fit into the box and they'll fit inside when the lid is closed so that's the start there the end walls I'm just designing on the fly for the fun just to see where this goes if they cut a little square out of the end of this wall so that it'll fit around this lump here when the insert slides down inside so I'm just going to mark it out fits in there now just needs a bit of a tidy up then I can join these two together with a handle of some sort this is the piece the screwdrivers are going to sit into so what I did was I measured the widest part of the handles on the screwdrivers so that when they're all sitting in I'm going to mark out a series of squares on the piece and the square will be the width of the widest part of the handle so that when they sit in they're not bunched up you know uh, stuck at odd angles like that they'll all sit straight in and have enough room for the handle with you to grab it so uh, i'll mark out a series of squares about 38 uh, millimeter square for the bigger screwdrivers all along the back here then find the center of each square and that's where you drill for the <laughs> screwdriver to sit in the That's it all marked for the big screwdrivers there. For all these uh, central holes, I'm going to use an 8mm drill bit. That should fit all the smaller screwdrivers. And then for the bigger ones, I'll use a 10 or a 12. I'll just have to measure some of the bigger screwdrivers to see uh, what size is best for them.
For these bigger screwdrivers, I'm drilling a 10 millimeter hole at each point. This section here is going to be for the smaller screwdrivers again. So I'm going with a five millimeter hole in each of these slots. So this is the top piece, that's the bottom piece. I cut these little pieces of half inch ply. They're just going to go at the sides. I'm just going to glue them and use the pin nailer to hold them in place. That's the first box made. This one's going to hold the screwdrivers. So now I just need to make the other boxes that are going to hold the pliers and other bits. And then I'll just glue them and nail them all to the side pieces that I made yesterday. I marked out this piece for hanging the spanners. I'm going to use some M8 dowels. Uh, they're beach, I think. Um, from 19 down to 10. And then after that, I have a few smaller of these uh, M6 size dowels. I taped up the drill bit so I know how far to drill into the piece of plywood. I'm just going to keep an eye on this piece of wood that I cut with an angle on it. I think it's about maybe 10 degrees. I'm using my miter saw to make some slots in some 6mm plywood so that I can make a box that has dividers in it to store the pliers individually. I made 10 removable dividers from some 4mm plywood. Now I'm just going to glue down this little divider box. Next I need a strip for down here just to make the second box. I'm drilling two 4mm holes which I'll use to attach the paracord handles. Close the box with some of the bigger screwdrivers in it. I had to snip out some of the plastic corrugation in the top of the box, and those longer screwdrivers had to live in those specific holes in the box. But it's easy enough to remember because there's only two or three of them that are too big. Just going to apply some grey primer now. I'm using a piece of scrap plywood to stop the spray paint from getting into the areas where the dividers are located. 
I'm using up all the materials I have around the workshop for this project, so I decided to go with a grass green spray paint I've had for a while. I'm using 12mm pine dowel to make two paracord handles for the tool insert. I need to use a 4mm drill bit to drill a hole in each of the dowels so that the paracord can pass through to make the handles. I pass the paracord through the pine handle and through the insert and then tie a knot to stop the handle from pulling back out. So that's the tool organizer completed. It's inside the box for now. Just pull out the handles. Pull it out and you're ready to go. It's a nice simple design. It's made out of six mil ply with uh, three pieces of half inch, two small ones in the screwdriver area. So it's nice and uh, lightweight. Uh, this section here, I just made dividers that can pull in and out in case I get different size tools in the future. Uh, a few knives, blades, chisels. Then this center piece here is just for tools of odd sizes. Little uh, ratchet kit there, whatever I want to put in it. Then I have space for my spanners along here. And uh, this side is just for all the screwdrivers, obviously. So it's a nice, neat little compact tool organizer.